Hey everyone, I'm in the zone, just doing a little workout before we get started. I'm super pumped up about today's topic, lots of interesting and important stuff to talk about. Stay tuned and be sure and share your thoughts on the topic after watching the video. See you in a few. Hi everyone, Donna here. Today we are going to discuss the topic of plastic waste and litter on our beaches and in our oceans and waterways and its effects on marine life. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my content. So let's jump right into today's topic. So many of us like to enjoy a fun day at the beach. Even if you don't live near an ocean, there are lakes and streams that can provide a relaxing way to get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Yet, have you noticed that some people leave their trash behind or simply use the beach as a trash can? For example, people throw their cigarette butts onto the beach or directly into the water. Other trash found on the beach and in the water include food wrappers, plastic bottles and bottle caps, plastic bags, straws, plastic takeout containers, plastic beverage lids, foam takeout containers, aluminum cans, and fishing line. This is just some of the trash left behind. Of course, there are all sorts of trash found on our beaches and in our oceans, but it would probably take us all day to name them all. Nonetheless, it's clear that we have a problem with trash on our beaches and in our oceans. The question is, how does it affect marine life and us humans? And what can we do to stop it? Plastic waste in particular can affect marine wildlife, such as seabirds, whales, fish, and turtles, as they can become entangled in it or they mistaken plastic debris for food and ingest it. As a result, this can cause suffocation, starvation, and drowning. In addition, plastic debris encourages the growth of pathogens in the ocean. For example, plastic can stress coral reefs. Plastic debris can get entangled in the coral reefs, which stresses the coral by depriving light, releasing toxins, and depleting oxygen. This allows harmful pathogens to take a foothold. Nonetheless, recent estimates suggest that plastic bottles can take around 450 years to decompose or break down. Even worse is fishing line. It takes up to 600 years to biodegrade. Let's face it, plastic waste in our oceans is not good for our environment. It's deadly for marine life and can have devastating consequences for our planet. Moreover, these toxins can travel up the food chain. In particular, humans can ingest these contaminated fish and mammals. So it's a vicious cycle that can have consequences for not only marine life, but for us humans too. So now that we understand the consequences of plastic debris in our oceans, what can we do as individuals to help reverse these devastating effects? First, it's important that we reduce or eliminate our plastic use. If we do use plastic, it's important to recycle. And it goes without saying that we should never leave trash on the beach. Be sure to dispose of it properly. Also, it's a good idea to bring a reusable water bottle with you to the beach or when traveling. The most important thing is that when we leave the beach, we leave nothing behind but our footprints. Also, for those who aren't vegan, consider eating plant-based, as this will eliminate eating contaminated fish from your diet and help the environment and reduce animal suffering all at the same time. That being said, our choices can have lasting effects on not only us humans, 
but can have devastating consequences for marine life and our environment. So, what do you think about plastic waste and trash on our beaches and in our oceans and waterways? What do you think we can do as individuals to change it? Be sure and write your response in the comments below. And if you have a suggestion for a future topic, be sure and include that in your comment. Also, be sure and hit that bell so you will be notified when I post a new video. Well, that's all for today. And until next time.